I'm Kathleen White, and I've been proud to serve two terms on the Board of Trustees of Forbes Library. I'm currently the Vice President of the Board, and I hope to continue serving our community this way. I believe public libraries are crucial institutions in today's world. We absolutely need these places where information is free, inquiry is encouraged, and everyone is treated as an equal. I have a lifelong devotion to books in public libraries. I hold a leadership position at a Northampton publisher, specializing in scholarly reference and research materials. I've spent 28 years in publishing, and I have a graduate degree in library and information science. My grandmother was a librarian, and my father was a library trustee. I spent most of my free time as a child in the little library in my hometown in Vermont, reading and learning about the world. I want every child in Northampton to be able to experience the freedom that comes from reading. But Forbes Library is much more than books. It's an important resource for our whole community, from families with young children to senior citizens. It is a safe space for tweens and teens to learn or be entertained. It's a place to research starting a business or a health issue, to learn new skills, or hunt for a job. For members of our community who don't have internet at home, Forbes offers access. It is a place to study, see art, check out a movie, discover books, learn new things, and view the world from a different perspective. As a trustee, I work in support of all those things. The Board of Trustees is the governing body for Forbes Library. The trustees are responsible for the hiring and evaluation of the director and the oversight of the library budget and policies. As an example, a few years ago, Forbes Library eliminated late fees after the trustees voted on and approved this new policy. Trustees also fundraise and advocate for the library, and we oversee and manage the endowment funds to ensure they provide long-term financial support for the library. There are five volunteer trustees elected by the residents of Northampton. Three of these five seats will be on the ballot in November, and I'm the only incumbent running. I'm committed to maintaining Forbes Library's mission to provide free resources and access to information, to provide service, support, and safe spaces for all of the people of Northampton, and to protect the privacy and intellectual freedom of all library users. I also support ongoing efforts to expand the ways in which the library collects, preserves, and provides access to materials related to our local history. I especially would like to continue the ongoing work that I've been involved in. This past year, I chaired the library's strategic planning committee. We've just released our strategic plan for the fiscal years 2025 through 2027, the goals of which focus on supporting the wellness of our community, creating more awareness of library and local services, and continuing to provide a welcoming space that inspires everyone in our community. We put together an ambitious action plan that will help us achieve those goals, and I very much want to continue to support the director, assistant director, and library staff as they carry out this important work. I act as the trustee to the Calvin Coolidge Presidential Library and Museum Advisory Board. Calvin Coolidge was mayor of Northampton before going on to become governor of Massachusetts, vice president, and then president. Forbes Library is the only public library in the country to hold a presidential collection. It's the largest existing collection of primary materials related to Calvin Coolidge and his wife, Grace. But the museum receives no federal funding, and we're working hard to breathe new energy into the museum and improve access to its primary source materials related to our local, state, and national history. We have a lot of projects on the near horizon, including creating specific spaces for teens and building a performance stage on the library's lawn. We're working hard to diversify everyone who interacts with the library from the patrons to the staff to the trustees. As part of this, we're working with the courts and city and state government to expand the number of seats on the board. All of these projects are important to me and I'm ready to put in the work needed to see them through. Finally, I think it's important to acknowledge that there's been a surge in attempted book bans at schools and public libraries across the country. I'm grateful to live in a community where we have not seen any of these efforts. I oppose any actions that limit free access to information. I believe these acts of censorship, coercion, and intimidation have no place in a free and democratic society. I'm humbled and proud to have been elected twice to serve the library and our community this way, and I hope to continue to do so.